is Optimistic Chris. First day, Atlantic Ocean. Last day, Pacific Ocean. Here I go, 3,500 miles plus, plus my friends. <laughs> Hello. Join me along the way on Soulmate Cyclists. Thank you. <laughs> me and my bike. This is going to be fun. Today is going to be a Nero day. A Nero day? Yeah, a near zero day. I've got 20 miles to a hotel. I can put my feet up and right now I have a backwind. I think this is my first backwind uh, in the trip so far of 800 plus miles. So I am going to enjoy it. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Uh-oh. Looks like someone's going to get wet. Someone is in for a very, very wet day. Well, the definition of a drowned rat. I am soaked through and through. Everything is wet. But I am halfway to my destination. This is the town of Blissfield. And quite frankly, ironically, I'm glad they added the field on it and not just bliss because it's not. It's a perfectly wet and miserable day. But I'm not cold and um, I'm moving along at a nice chop. I'm probably just as wet on the inside as I am on the outside. But you know what, that will all dry out later today. Hope you're having as much fun as I am. And honestly, I am. I am. It's got me on a very wet gravel road. I forgot to tell you about a cool experience I had the other day. My warm showers host was Scott Diedenbach with his wife, Sean, and Scott has a podcast. It's called Bike Shop Show. Bike Shop Show, check it out. Anyway, he took me into his basement, threw on a pair of ear, earphones, and interviewed me for his podcast. They talk about all sorts of biking stuff and mechanics and things like that. And... Um, it was just a very, very cool experience. And then he took me out into his garage, put my bike up on a stand, oiled my chain, aired my tires, and got rid of a squeak that I could not tell where the heck it was coming from. A brilliant, brilliant time. I'll let you know when he publishes the podcast and you can all listen in to Optimistic Chris on his show. Okay, bike shop show. Check it out. Well, good morning to you. It looks as though I've got myself the start of a nice bike ride today. Um, I've got tipped out onto a gravel road, but quite frankly, it's been quite nice. Um, there's not a lot of uh, washboard into it. It's smooth, a little slow going, but that's okay. And the occasional glimpses into fields and stuff like that. Here, I've got a pond next to me. It is very overcast today. I have no idea which way is north and west and stuff like that. So as we say in England, I may be lost, but I'm making good time. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and is coming out to play. You know the rest of it. So it's been a day in the Brooks Saddle. Um, I started out very much overcast, the occasional sprinkle of rain, some gravel roads, although they were pretty, they're slow going when everything is as wet as it is. Then I got tipped out onto some roads a lot like this one. Notice no shoulder. That makes it hard when there's a pretty busy road. Uh, now I'm on the same type of road with just not as much traffic. And the sun is trying to come out. Come on, sun. Let's see you shine. Although it is getting warm.
This is a really good opportunity just to see how much water we have had in the last few days in this part of Michigan. Everything is flooded as it flows through. So we came in for a beer and supper and it is absolutely chucking it down with rain. Look out there. Like That's rain. crazy. And what did you bring with you, Sylvia, to help two, us out? Two, two, two umbrellas. Two umbrellas. We might be using them. <laughs> The dam in Albion and again so much water flowing over the dam because of the recent rain. But a very cool river. It runs right through the middle of town. That guy over there is just starting to show his face again. My warm showers host Sylvia has given me a little guided tour of the town here and um, you can see how much water is flowing in. We are just downstream of the dam and uh, there's water rushing through here. Sylvia, 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 you are the best. Thank you so very much. I loved my time with you. I will be back with lovely Laura in the RV and we'll go out for a beer and we'll eat again and uh, catch up on old times. My warm showers host from last night, you are the best. Thank you. Another example here of just how much water is in this area from all the rain recently. It is really cruising through here. So I'm pushing my way through Battle Creek, Michigan, and they really have a nice bike trail here. It follows the north branch of the Kalamazoo River, and you know there's some nice views of it. There's a lot of water in it now because they've had a ton of rain, but it's a pretty little bike path. Thank you. You know wherever there's wetlands like this, there's also guys like this. Hello there, my friend. How are you? I'd like to get you back into the water, but I don't know if that's a wise thing. Hey there, friend. So I'm just finishing off lunch, but I wanted to tell you about something that happened this morning. I was heading through uh, Grand Rapids and I had had a problem earlier in the day with one of my uh, valve stems and I knew I was running low on air in one of my tires. And I stopped into a place called Oakdale Neighbors. It looked like they had uh, some bikes stuff going on. And I stopped in and I uh, talked with Takara. And unfortunately, none of their mechanics were in, but I asked her about the place that they ran. And um, what they do is they have people donate old bicycles to them. And then they have some volunteer mechanics who give them the once over, get everything working, get rid of all the squeaks and everything like that. And then they put them for sale and sell them. And the profits that they make from the bikes go to the community. And I thought, what a great, great, great service they're providing. And um, then she told me about kids. Like, so if you're a kid in the neighborhood and you want a bike, but you don't have money for the bike, you can come on in and you can uh, spend time in the shop cleaning up, um, helping to clean the bikes when they first come in, all dirty and dusty. And they'll teach you a little bit about how to maintain and take care of the bikes and things like that. So you earn some credits by putting in some time. And once you got enough credits, you get yourself a free bike. How fantastic is that? Oakdale Neighbors in Grand Rapids. If you've got a bike sitting in your garage that is too small for your kids, don't worry about Craigslist, it's not worth the hassle. Take it over to them, let them fix it up and pass it on to someone who can really get some cool use out of it. Great idea. Keep up the good work, Takara. So I'm coming to the end of my 20 plus miles on the Muscat Musca Musca Muscatawa Trail, bike trail here. It runs from uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan 
northwest or southeast to um, the ferry terminal where I'm headed to and it has been an absolute delight. It's big, it's wide, it's flat, it's well maintained, deer, tons of rabbits, yeah. It's been a delightful ride. Whoever is responsible, thank you so very much. Tomorrow, Wisconsin and lovely, lovely Laura, the better half of soulmate cyclists. I'm gonna have to introduce you to her because she really does exist. If you like what you've seen here at Soulmate Cyclist, Check me out also on Instagram and Facebook and stick around as I make my way through the last part of Michigan over to Muskegon and the ferry ride across the ferry to lovely Laura. Thanks for joining me.